Here is the fuselage after three or four layers of the goop spackle mixture that I covered in the Kevlar and EPP video. Um, it's now ready to accept the Kevlar and this is a little bit different than the wing because I have to cover it in several pieces. Uh, I'll be able to cover it in two pieces, one on top, one on bottom. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell. The, the fibers are on the bias, okay? So they're at a 45 degree angle to the main spar. And it actually gives us quite a bit of flexibility to wrap around the compound curves of the body. So I'll be able to get this done in two pieces and then I'll fiberglass it and add the tail. Here is the bottom half covered. You can see I went about <clears throat> uh, three quarters of an inch, half an inch above the midline um, before I terminated the Kevlar. And I'll, on the top, I'll bring the Kevlar down about the same amount. So we'll have a good inch overlap between the top and the bottom. And you can see um, it conforms really well to these compound curves. So, um, yeah. It, uh, it works really well on the fuselages, and that's how I do that. Here is the fuselage completely covered in Kevlar. You can see the overlap section. It's about an inch between the top and the bottom. Um, next I'm going to add the fiberglass and then I will add the vertical stabilizer and then create a nice little fillet with the goop spackle mixture and fiberglass that as well. Then we'll cut out the hatch and that'll be that. Now on the fuselage or anything that's really has a lot of complex shapes or is convex, uh, you're probably going to get a couple areas where it's a little bit, it was a little bit difficult to adhere the Kevlar. Um, so you can kind of see it right where my finger is. I didn't get a good adhesion right there and the Kevlar is going to want to kind of tend to bunch up uh, because you were wrapping it around you know, a fairly tight shape. So don't be afraid to just go around, check, check the entire body. Uh, chase down any areas that might be lifting, hit them with the goop, uh, thin goop mixture, and then hit them with the iron, which I'm going to do now on that spot. Here is the fuselage with fiberglass cut on the bias, uh, ready to apply, and I've got the iron hot just in case as the solvent hits the Kevlar, any of the Kevlar starts to lift, um, I can push it back down with the iron. So here I've done the top of the fuselage with the glass, so that, <clears throat> that is complete. Um, and I won't bother to show you the bottom because it's the exact same process. So during the time lapse you could probably see that there were a couple areas that I was hitting with the iron. And so as I was applying the glass I was just paying attention to see if the solvent was lifting the Kevlar anywhere, which it did in a couple spots. So I just hit that with the iron, adhered it back down, um, and that's that. You can see the edge here is a little bit rough, uh, the Kevlar is a little bit rough, so I'm going to hit that with thin CA and that will make the Kevlar sandable and then I can clean up that edge and make a nice, nice crisp clean edge. So yeah, that's that. So here's the completed joining section after um, 
hitting it with CA and sandpaper you can see it cleans it up very nicely it's a nice sharp edge um, and that'll fit nicely against the wing I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the body but there's nothing left to show you that I haven't already shown you so yeah hopefully that'll work out for you guys